pain. It's one of the most common complaints that physicians hear today, and technology is coming to the rescue. We find out how in today's Health Matters. Pain relief can come in a variety of forms, from injections to medications to physical therapy. But for those who have tried all three without success, there's another method that might work. A lot of people call it a morphine pump. Okay, it's a, it's a pain pump. Pain management physician Dr. Adam Schuster explains how this little pump can bring big results. Let's say people who are taking these opioid medications, high dose uh, opioids, more than 200 milligrams of morphine a day. If a person is on this amount of medication and it's helping them, but they just can't tolerate the side effects, or they need more medication, and again, they can't tolerate the side effects, what you can do is you can insert a little catheter that goes into the spinal fluid, essentially, and we can deliver the medication straight into the spinal fluid. So you need much, much less medication to have the same effect, and it cuts down on uh, side effects and can be very useful because you can mix a variety of medications. The pump is about the size of a hockey puck with space inside to hold medication. The pump is then programmed to release the medications at different times throughout the day. It's a fully reversible technology, which is nice too, because most surgeries you really can't take away. This one, you can put it in and you can take it out if it doesn't work or there's a problem with it. Designed to help lessen chronic pain, these pumps are often prescribed when all other therapies and surgeries have failed. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar.